Big Slick here and today's project is is to tear down and replace the internal battery that stores the time and date whenever you replace the battery. To show you the symptom what happens to all these old cameras they lose their settings whenever the battery is replaced even if the battery cover is only popped open for a second or two. So when we turn this old Fuji on you will see that the uh, no date or time has been set. So we'll go ahead and just set something here. We'll just set it to the year 2000 and set it to November 1st. That's good enough just for the test. Okay, so to show you that the setting is here, as you see, it's set to November 1st of the year 2000. So, what we'll do is turn it off here. Take it out just for a second, pop it back in, turn it on, and you see all the settings have been erased again. It's back to default. Well, that's annoying whenever you're trying to use the camera. You have it set up the way you want it. You want the pictures to be dated properly. So that's what we're going to fix here today. Um, it's going to be a two-part video. The first part of the video is going to be to show you how I fix it one way and then in a week or two from now I'll put up another video to show you a second way I'm gonna fix this since I have two cameras that I'm using this is a Fuji fine picks a210 which is also the same as an a205 what you need is a Y0 bit and there's one screw on this side of the camera there is two here on the bottom side and on the other side there is two. So we will remove those five screws and the back of the camera will just flop off. So I will take out those five screws now. Okay, so what I did here is I soldered a CR1220 battery directly to a set of wires and I paralleled it with the original battery that was on the auxiliary power supply board up here. Uh, there's really not enough room to get this and I didn't feel like trying to buy some, something special and I feel that I can probably tuck this battery right underneath the top. There's a little bit of space here. So we're going to give that a shot, reassemble this and see if it works. Okay, it's back together and I installed the CR1220 battery and I installed the two AA batteries. So what we'll do is we'll set the date and next thing I'll do is pop out the two AA's then pop it back in and see if the date resets. Okay, the camera's booted up. Go into the menu. Go into the setup. Date time. Okay, the time is set. We'll set it to the 3 megapixel quality. So we set a few different settings, not just the date and the time. 
I'll go ahead and just take a quick flash photo to show that Okay, the flash works, the camera works, no problem at all. So what we'll do is we'll turn it off. Okay, it's off. Go down. Pop out the battery pack. Now, even for an instant, these old Fujis will reset. So we'll go ahead and pop it back in. Turn it on. And you see there is no message that there's a problem. And we'll go into the menu just to prove it. We are at the 3 megapixel setting that we set before. We will go into the date and time, which I think will still show the same thing. Yes, 2024, 311, that's what we set before. So everything is perfectly fine. I'll fire it up one more time just to prove it. In fact, I'll just go ahead and pop it off with it on. And you can see it's off again. Battery's out. Let it set a few seconds here. We'll do 10, 20 seconds. Okay, let's go ahead and pop it back in. And as you see, everything is still fine. 3 megapixel setting. Go into the date. And the date and the time are correct. So, this may be the only Fuji A210 that has a working backup battery in the entire world at this point because I've never seen anybody do this. I'm going to do my A205. I still like these old cameras. I probably don't recommend you do it because a lot could go wrong with this. It is very delicate work. Anything at all is likely to screw the camera up. There's also a flash capacitor in here that holds quite a charge you need to discharge that safely before you work on this so this is just an idea if you're another technician and you want to try this but I would not recommend that anybody who's not experienced with this do this because it actually could be dangerous and you have a very good likelihood of damaging your camera and uh, hitting yourself with a very good shock believe it or not but in any event, this is how you replace the internal battery with something that will functionally work on a Fuji A210, A205 series of vintage CCD Digicam. Thanks a lot. Bye.